Okay, number nine and ten. We're gonna spend time in the LOB. Take a little time to draw this one. Oh. <clears throat> UK Limited owns 50% of ink. And we have four shareholders. And we have a loan, 10 million at 10%. One, two, three, four. For shareholders, we have Pierre, 20, oops. We have Pierre, who is French. We have Dan, who is UK. We have Kieran, who is Irish. And we have Jen, who is UK. 20, 45, 20, 15. UK earns 100 million of gross income, which would be inclusive of the 1 million. UK Limited pays a firm in Hong Kong for rights of the use of IP of 20, so a $20 million royalty or license payment deductible. And all other expenses in the UK are paid or incurred to persons that are UK tax resident. Based on the facts, does it seem likely that the UK Limited would meet the stock ownership and base erosion test? So the stock ownership and base erosion test is, I think, in 1303, 1302, excuse me, page 663. We'll talk about the treaty in a second. Let's just read what the textbook says. A corporation qualifies for treaty benefits under this test if both at least 50% of the corporation's stock is owned by residents who are entitled to treaty benefits. Stock ownership test and less than 50% of its corporation's gross income constitutes deductible payments to persons who are not resident of either treaty country, base erosion. If you go to the treaty itself, it would be sitting in, and, and the language is a little bit dense, but good exercise to read through. Article 23, paragraph two, F starting out a person other than an individual if roman numeral one is the base or excuse me the stock ownership roman numeral two is the base erosion so what do we have here then what we have is we have what's our ownership our ownership consists of two UK shareholders, 45 and 50, 15. UK, 60% individual tax residents. They would otherwise qualify for the treaty. Therefore, we are stock ownership, check. Base erosion. We're gonna look at the income profile and that less than 50% of the corporation's gross income, our gross income is 100 million. 50% times 100 million is 50. Deductible payments to persons who are not resident in either the US or the UK. Our deductible payments that are not resident of either the US or the UK is 20 million paid to Hong Kong. 20 million is less than 50 million. We are okay on the base erosion. So what are we trying to get at here? Base erosion, stock ownership. The treaty is preventing or is intended to prevent, excuse me, the limitation on benefits article is intended to prevent treaty shopping. 
if you can meet the stock ownership and you can meet the base erosion, you're not treaty shopping, you have substance. The majority of your shareholders, beneficial owners are UK tax resident and you're not having deductible payments erode the tax base to persons outside of either the US or the UK. This test here is the most common test to approach. Uh, there are others in there that are great to understand. The book does a great job at to uh, summarize them. We will not spend time looking at the other ones. Uh, oh, forgot number 10. So last bit then. UK Limited also has an Irish subsidiary. Management has asked Jen to relocate to Dublin to oversee Irish operations. How would your answer change, if at all, if Jen relocates to Ireland? Jen is UK tax resident. We're not UK tax advisors, but two things that we should think about. I mean, not two things. We learn in week one or unit one that the U.S. is one of the few countries that tax its citizens on a worldwide basis. Most countries, if you leave your country of residence, your national or your uh, citizen, you cease tax residency. You become tax resident in the country in which you are living in. If the UK is territorial tax regime, then Jen becomes Irish tax resident. If she becomes Irish tax resident, we fail the stock ownership test. We only have 45%, it's just Dan left. If the UK is worldwide and Jen remains UK tax resident, we're still okay. Nothing's changed. She just relocated, but she's still a UK tax resident. It's kind of when we we were was a assessment problem on week three on CFC, uh, and if somebody relocated to another country, would that change? And the answer from a US perspective is not really because assuming or if she is US citizen or green card holder, nothing changes whether she lives in country X or country Y. The, the point here is this is fluid. Uh, you can meet the base erosion test, stock ownership test in one year, and you can not meet it the next year. If you have a change in your deductible payments one year, better or worse, it could change your outcome on this particular LOB. And ultimately it could, if I flip back, your withholding tax. All right. That is um, all of it. Um, let me know if you have questions.